Hello, everyone. We are now past the halfway point in 2017, which makes it a good time to take stock on where we've been and where we're going. Three areas of rejuvenation stand out to me. In this blog, I'll look at a great addition to the Canadian Family Physician website, the college's new strategic plan, and what's in the works with the Patient Medical Home Model 2.0. CFP launched its redesigned website in May, and at the end of June, the journal unveiled its exciting new blog feature. The CFP editors have invited some of the family medicine's leading thinkers writers and activists from across the country to contribute regular posts on issues of importance to family physicians and their patients. The first blog posts include a thoughtful reflection on medical rationing in Canada by Dr. David Ponka, a family physician and a member of the Advisory Council of the Best Shore Centre. Another is a beautifully written post on the medicalization of suffering by Dr. Geneviève Deschaines, a family physician with a special interest in palliative care. CFP's blog space is intended to stimulate timely discussion of important issues. You can check it out at www.cfp.ca forward slash blog. You can also find guidelines there in English and French on how to submit blogs for consideration. Another project that came to fruition at the end of June was the development and approval of the college's strategic plan for the period 2017 to 2022. We now have a refreshed vision and mission statement for the college, as well as three main goals for our work. First, to set standards to develop and sustain skilled family physicians. Second, to meet the evolving healthcare needs of our communities. And third, to promote the value of patient care provided by family physicians. The strategic plan is the result of a great deal of work and it includes important feedback from members. I want to thank everyone who took the time to engage with us to help define our priorities and our approach. The plan is available on the CFPC website and we will provide the link to it at the end of this video. The third project I want to discuss is the Patient Medical Home 2.0. It has been almost six years since the college launched the original PMH model. Now PMH 2.0 doesn't mean that we're getting rid of the original PMH model. We have learned a lot since it's launched and we're now ready to build on the success that we have achieved and on the feedback that we've received. One concept some of our chapters want brought to life further is the concept of med medical neighborhood, where family physicians working collaboratively with other providers, as well as with family physicians with enhanced skills and focused practices, can really assume the dimension of comprehensiveness and strengthen primary care. We will work further on this and members will be invited to provide feedback on some of these concepts. I appreciate the time members take to be involved in college activities as part of your busy professional lives. I hope you all have plans to take uh, some time off uh, over the remaining part of the summer to recharge your batteries and spend time with friends and family. Until the next time, take good care.